I'm gonna be super honest with you and just say that recently I haven't been feeling so great. I don't think it's the pressure of filming these videos. I've been like psyching myself up to do this video for about 40 minutes now. It's weird isn't it? Sometimes you just have bad days and I seem to be having a lot of them. Constantly. But you know what? I've planned this video. I've researched a lot about it. I've made a cup of tea and I'm gonna give it a good go. <laughs> okay, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to the second video in this series during Mental Health Awareness Week. I'm doing a video every day this week to encourage, support and advise anyone who is directly or indirectly affected by the different topics that I'm discussing. Just like our physical health, we need to look after our mental health too, because it applies to us all. And that's exactly what the Mental Health Foundation's aim is to get across. While not everyone will suffer with a diagnosed mental illness in their life, everyone will fall short of maintaining perfect mental health because, well, life. Life throws things at us. Lovely things and challenging things. But I find today there's a lot of pressure to keep positive and to find a silver lining. But sometimes in life, situations are given to us that can leave us feeling stressed, angry, hurt or worried. And it's okay to feel these unpleasant emotions. A particularly uncomfortable emotion I want to talk about today is anxiety. Because we all feel it, just not about the same stuff. When the feeling of anxiety becomes overwhelming, it can lead us to have panic attacks. I've titled this video, The Manic Panic, because that's exactly what it's like when you have an anxiety attack. It's manic and oftentimes you don't feel in control and that's what's really scary. Well, luckily for you, I'm pretty panic attack savvy. So I've come up with an anagram, because I love anagrams so much, to hopefully help you if you're ever in this situation. The main thing to do is to focus. And this is the word that the anagram centers around. Oftentimes when we feel anxious, our chest gets really tight and we find it difficult to breathe. So firstly, and most importantly, the letter F stands for finding your breath in your belly. The best way to practice belly breathing is to sit or lie down in a comfortable position. Put one hand on your stomach just below your ribs and one hand on your chest. Take a deep breath in through your nose and let your belly push your hand out. Your chest should not move. And then breathe out through your mouth, feeling the hand that's on your belly go back in. And just do this as long as you feel necessary. The O stands for opening up your posture. When you're feeling this uncomfortable emotion, oftentimes your posture becomes really inwards and closed and our muscles then get really tight as a result. It's all about opening up your posture by broadening your shoulders, lifting your neck a little and having your palms facing upwards. It might seem like a really little step, but it does trick your mind into making you feel confident. Again, like the breathing, it's just doing the opposite of what your body wants to do. C stands for concentrate on tensing and relaxing your muscles. This is a really, really helpful step because while you're engaging in this activity, you're distracting your mind from all the negative thoughts that are flying in. You're simply focusing on one muscle group at a time. Try tensing those muscles as much as possible for five seconds and then at the same time as breathing out, relax them. Repeat this with the other muscle groups and you'll find your body begins to chill out because when you physically feel grounded, you then allow your mind to feel grounded too. The U is for use cold water. By shocking your body with a really low temperature, it forces your heart rate to slow down. This could be by splashing cold water on your face, holding an ice cube, letting the air conditioning blow on your face in the car, or taking a really cold shower. This means that the racing heart and the tight breathing will immediately slow down because that's your body's natural reaction. And finally, S is Speak positive words over yourself. Perhaps you could try to memorize a couple of sentences and speak them over yourself when you're not feeling too great. Now these could be affirmations that you repeat to yourself, such as, I am worthy, I am loved, this will pass, this feeling isn't forever, or I am in control. Even if you're thinking the complete opposite, it's so important to speak aloud. Only the loveliest of things. Because after a while, these affirmations reprogram our subconscious mind. They encourage us to believe what we are saying and take it for truth. Personally, when I get to this stage, I talk to myself. I remind myself to accept and acknowledge what is going on. Because there is no use in fighting a panic attack because all we do is suppress it 
and it comes out even worse later, which is so unhelpful. So I hope this has helped you and you've learned some new techniques today that perhaps you could try or help somebody else try. If you really like this anagram and feel like you want to use it for yourself, then feel free to go to my Facebook page because I will be uploading a picture version there that you can download and print for yourself. I always keep it in my purse so that I can follow each stage step by step and get myself into a position where I feel in control and calm. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because it means the absolute world. Thank you so much for your support. Keep being kind to yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. God bless. Mwah.